everyone, it's Lisa from Dana August Nails. Welcome back to my channel and please enjoy the shop with me video. Hey guys, okay, so this is a new kind of video for me. I will be taking you guys shopping with me. We're gonna hit up a thrift store that is, um, the Humane Society has a thrift store and they sell like a bunch of really cool stuff. I donate stuff there and it helps the, you know, it helps them provide for the animals that they take care of. So I like to go in the thrift store and like buy loads of stuff. So I donate there, I shop there, it's fun. And um, we're gonna be hitting up two local nail supply stores that, um, you know, are on my island, which is Nassau, Bahamas. Hey. Um, <laughs> we're gonna go hit up Tamco and then we're gonna hit up the Nail Depot. I am outside my friend Mia's house and yeah she's gonna hop on this journey with me and yeah guys I'm so excited I'm so excited to see what we're gonna be able to find um, at the thrift store and at the other two stops and Mia always ends up scoring like massively at the thrift store so I am excited for that as soon as she you know comes downstairs gets in the car so and um, yeah guys so I will check in I'll just I'll come right back with a quick video of Mia when she gets in the car Okay, I will see you guys later. Look at the kids in the car. Okay, guys. This is Mia. Friend, slash, family, slash, ex co worker, slash, equally as nerdy, bookworm, anime worm, and all things weird and awkward. And make people uncomfortable. That's, that's her, that's me, that's us. So, you don't recognize the face, but maybe you recognize the nailies, okay? I'm gonna put up two pictures of like past work that me and I have done together. So, we, we're gonna go, we're gonna jam today. We're gonna jam today, yes, we're gonna go shopping. Okay, we will see you guys later, bye. I just wanted to take this time to express my deepest apologies to our first line responders, to anyone that has had COVID, has lost someone from COVID, or just are completely aware of what's going around the world and you're like super grieved about it. Because Mia and I were in the car together without our masks, I do want to let you know, not that this is an excuse, that her and I are regularly tested because she manages a restaurant and I work as a tour guide and I'm constantly in contact with tourists. Um, this is not an excuse. I do want to apologize um, because we got into the car, took our masks off, but wore them in every establishment that we went into. So once again, apologize. Please try your best to enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you so much. I do not need a snowboard. Positive. always frequent this thrift store for like kitchen supplies all sorts of stuff and I noticed some candle holders that I could have used as dappin dishes and I left them there oh but I do love supporting this place donating making purchases it's all for a good cause okay so we just came out of the uh, the thrift store we got a lot of good stuff I got some kit books for the kids and a new phone case because mine was sheet and uh, Mia got a ton of really good stuff too she got like two pairs of and it's really cute right and it's really cool dress so when I get home I'm gonna show you guys what I got you know from all the three stops and Mia has promised to send me photos of cute clothes on her obviously we're not gonna be showing you guys her face but we're concerned about the fitting and the sizing of everything so we're going to another stop which is gonna be no we're gonna see Mia's sister first and then we're gonna go to nail stops so yay nail This is my view as I drive around the island pretty much all of the time. I'm just saying, if you guys want to come over, you know, for a swim, holla at your girl because that would be like so awesome. Hey guys, so I just pulled up to Tamco and 
Let's see what they got. We've got 20 minutes in there though. It's about to close, so. Yeah. So guys, I did wanna hop on real quick and um, tell you about this local nail supply store. So this was one of the first ones that I'd ever gone to, you know, like about a year and a half ago when I really started stocking up on supplies. And I will tell you that the difference in price is crazy. Like each one of those, I think maybe five or, I think those are five, five gram um, pigment powders were like four dollars individually when you can pretty much buy all 12 of them for that the gel polishes I didn't mind I thought seven dollars was a good price considering what they are but again this is the brand that the nail supply store sells it's not like Madame Glam or you know what I mean not to I don't know how high-end or high quality it is compared to what we now know is high-end and better quality and so forth but I mean, Born Pretty for me is like it, so. Um, but yeah, the prices are, in my opinion, way off. But we get charged 45% of the value um, because of customs. And then there's freight, there's insurance, there's hazmat fees, so I totally get it. But even with that and the calculations and ordering my stuff in, this to me is a gross an insane markup but you know you just you got to do what you got to do I mean those were seven dollars you know these are like I can't even tell you what gram these are maybe they're ten and they're like ten dollars each so that was it was it was a lot to like I don't I really don't frequent um, this store much I will say though that I mean the foils individually are two dollars you guys know you can get like a ten set a 10 piece set for like four if you're looking to spend that much but I have bought like 10 piece sets from Aliexpress for two dollars and fifty cents and I don't want to sound like I'm complaining because I'm actually half complaining but I'm also half understanding um, and if I could be 150 percent I'm also another 50 percent of just like come on man there's got to be like a ground where we can exist but yeah it just is what it is so yeah I hope this you know because I've gotten a few questions about what it's like you know with our stores and like the shipping and the markups and the this and the that and this is what it is because you I, you guys all have these products home and you know what they cost whether you're buying them or shipping them in now compare them to the prices that we have here and it's just it is I think a lot of it is about people not going and venturing out to like find the Aliexpresses and find the Amazons under this because they're like okay well Tam goes across the street so at that point you're just like okay well that person is just gonna lose out because they don't want to do the research or maybe they can't find the time to do the research or they don't want to wait because again it is across the street but personally I really only shop here for things that I'm just like okay I'm really out of this I need one right now and that's you know everything else especially when it comes to nail art I I just like for example with Aliexpress if I need things in winter I'm gonna order them in summer you know and with Amazon and you know same difference and I you know send packages to my friends houses and I pick them up on travels so yeah little insight for you guys all right okay so we went to that first place Tamco and Oddly enough, Mia bought stuff, which is what I thought was weird. She bought like China glazed bottles of like lacquer and then decals and glitter. And I literally thought to myself for a second, like, is she buying, is she buying products to bring to me on her next visit? But we probably do that because, the, don't, I saw that, <laughs> I saw that. We, the purple butterflies though, because they are gonna go with what you're thinking about. I bought some glitter. First of all, I spent all my money. I only had $40.50 to spend in there in the first place. So that's all gone. Um, so we're not gonna go to the second store. The re oh, what is that? No, you're fine. That's like, that's like the lemon that was on those candies that we ate. Cause I'm greedy. Um, <laughs> anyway, so we're not gonna go to the second location probably because they won't let me film. Primarily because I'm broke. And um, we got some really good stuff. So I'm gonna drop Mia off. I'm gonna take a picture of everything that she got so that we can, we can go with that. And I'm gonna break down what I got when I get home. Uh, yeah, and I will see you guys then. Okay, bye, bye. Me and say bye to the people. Goodbye, humans of the world. <laughs>
Okay, everyone, I am back home several hours later because your girl had to get some pasta in her stomach. So I'm back from the thrift store as well as from the um, nail supply store called Tamco. So at the thrift store, nail, like not related at all. I just got some books for the kids. Uh, you know, they were super excited. So that should be fun. And then I got a phone case, which is on my phone right now. And my phone is what I'm using to record right now. So you won't be able to see that. So I went to Tamco Nail Supplies. And again, this is like only information that you'd probably be concerned with if you're like a local, but you know, this is, this is them. And I spent $40.50. Your girl is broke. Oh, she's broke. Babe, I spent all the money that was in my wallet. Yep. <laughs> No guess. So let's just get the boring stuff out of the way. So I have been looking for Mia Secrets monomer because most of my stuff is Mia Secret. And what I noticed is that the monomer that I get from the local nail supply store makes my Mia Secret acrylic, which is this is what I get from the local nail supply store. It makes the Mia Secret monomer, I'm sorry, acrylic turn like yellow. So that being said, we are going to do a little bit of a test. So this contains Mia Secret, this contains the local nail supply stores, monomer, and this is the paper towel, and this is some Mia Secret French white. So if there's like a change in color, some yellowing or anything like that, we are going to be able to tell. So first of all, going into the store-bought stuff, and then we're gonna put that right there, see what happens later, clean our brush. Then we're gonna go into the Mia Secret, and we're gonna, you know, cause sometimes, I'm not saying that that's what these guys did, but sometimes, you don't get what you pay for, you know? So, we're gonna put that aside, and then we're gonna check back later, and I'll let you guys know what's going on with this. Okay, so, that's that. So I bought an eight ounce, and this was 20 bucks, which I'm not, you know, I'm Walmart, I've heard that you don't buy Mia Secret monomer from, Amazon because they like put other stuff in it but Walmart don't need that fire or that heat or that smoke so they sell you the real stuff and Walmart actually has the eight ounce bottles going for twin actually for $19.50 so that's not bad considering markup here in the Bahamas is insane hey guys it's Lisa from the future here and <laughs> I wanted to let you guys know that um, they both sort of yellowed, but um, this one that is the local nail supply monomer yellowed the most. But what is the most noticeable change is that this bead that we did with the Mia Secret is actually still white, you know? And this one has just discolored a little bit. It's almost like it just took on the color, that soft sort of purpley blue color that the monomers are these days. Um, it just sort of absor absorbed that color and then just changed, which is what I've normally been finding out with my white Frenches. They never stay white. But this, as you can tell, Mia Secret Monomer, this stayed white, so I'm so happy to have that in my possession. And you can see here that the yellowing has sort of happened. So yeah, I am satisfied that this is the real McCoy. And you know, this is just is what it is. <laughs> All right guys, back to the video. Now I got some 180 grit files. These were 70 cents. I was okay with that. I was totally okay with that. Um, but honestly, again, like spending that amount of money, $3.50 can get me like 10 on AliExpress, but AliExpress ain't next door. This is next door, so I got these. I'm really satisfied with these. Their durability, you see that? Love it. Who does not love a good zebra file? I also, because I really only have five customers, so I just like wanted to replace it because they've had the old ones for like three months now, so I want to get rid of their old files and their old buffers and put new ones in their kits. So these are the buffers that I got. These were a dollar each. What I noticed about these is that they come in like three different grits. So this side I think is 180, this side I think is 150, and this side is 100. The reason I say that is because, okay, check out, this is the 100 side, right? I don't know if you guys can tell, but I can see immediately that there's a difference in the grit. So I think this side is 180, that's 150, and that's 100, and I can actually feel it. This is the roughest side. So anyway, I got five of those, and I will be putting one in each of my clients' kits. I think I estimate that they'll have them for about three months, and then I'll like toss them, or if they're still usable, I'll give them to the clients. So now we're gonna get into the glitters, guys. So I'm just gonna get these all out of the 
packages and I'm gonna speed that up for you because before that I want to let you guys know that these were two dollars each okie dokie okay guys so this is the first of the glitters and super super reflective super pink there's stars there's dots there's squares there's bits of mylar in here so nice like there you have bits of mylar and dots and i i love this mia my traveling companion for the day she actually got one of these as well and i was like where'd you get it from because i want one i think these are probably like maybe one gram like pots i'm not entirely sure um and then this is the purple to that one that we just looked at again there's like stars and dots and everything um i'm really excited about this really excited about this i see like a lot of like mermaidy sets like definitely hot girl summer type vibes this oh you guys you don't even understand how this was the highlight of my life these little dots that were like chameleon but also super like reflective and I don't have a lot of green so these were like a really good find and there's like I think about three different size dots in here so I'm just gonna have fun with that where was this during St. Patrick's Day am I right where was this let me bring the light in a little bit more boom where was this during St. Patrick's Day that's what I want to freaking know I know where it was in the store because I had a way to buy it <laughs> okay oh, shit. anyway um Okay, so this was another really good one for me. Uh, I mean, it looks gold, right? But at the same time, it has like a dark, like a black sort of darky brown hue to it. So to me, this is like also almost as like shifty or chameleon-y like the other ones. I don't know if you guys can see that dark brown, almost black sort of different side to this gold. And I wouldn't even say this was like an immediate gold because I've got golds. And you can tell that it is a gold, but then you can also see this. It's a bit different. It's a bit different, so. That is that one. Damn, spilled glitter all over. By the way, guys, this thing right here that I'm using is actually a piece of like flora tile, that like flat sticky material. I also got that from the thrift store. I think they gave it to me like, like 50 cents. I got two, so. This ain't nothing spectacular, but just thought I'd share that. So. This red, I have some solid reds, but I, I had to get this. I had to get this because this was a mix of a medium chunky as well as some fine glitter. And I just had either the medium chunky to the large chunky or the large chunky. I did not have any fine glitter. Oh, I lied. The fine glitter that I had was like a few shades um, in difference to this one. So that was good. I'm gonna need to get all this red off because this last glitter, I don't wanna contaminate that because know what this light is doing to this glitter but you guys can you see Ooh. step into the light here I go wasting it again hold on I'm about to cry I did not mean to do that okay so but seriously though look at what it did to my finger so anyway this is it you guys this glitter this is it so at two dollars a pot like I'm not I'm mad ish but at the same time you kind of have to get these kind of glitters because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find this again like searching searching through Aliexpress like am I gonna find this I don't know so yeah I can probably get 10 grams for two dollars and fifty cents from Aliexpress like to true story however will it be 10 grams of this specific glitter probably with a little bit of searching probably not and I don't want to be the person that like doesn't grab this so yeah guys so that is my mini haul that is my let's go shop with me and as you would have noticed as I you know I put a little note in the videos or maybe I didn't but probably should mention it now I was not able like I got caught Ooh, sh I got caught filming it damn go and they were like girl you can't film in here but I had already got some footage so that footage is already in the video what they going to about it nothing so anyway thank you guys for coming and hanging out with me today thank you husband for being out here just as usual say say something to the people husband you're very much welcome 
didn't bring so me I didn't bring you anything. I brought you me. I came back safe and sound. You're welcome. So That's for you. Years. Eleven, 11 years. years. You're welcome. So <laughs> thank you guys so much. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Uh, follow me on social media. I can't put a product list below because you guys are not gonna come down here just to get these glitters and this monomer and these files and these buffers. Why? Unless you just want to say hi to me. At which point, come on down, y'all. I will be seeing you guys in the next one. Love you guys so so much. Bye.